Rock Hopper here, and today I'm going to show you some artwork that really rocks. We're heading off the pavement and we're heading up toward the petroglyphs. On the dirt road here, a little bit of a washboardy bumpy ride here in the Lake Mead National Recreation Area. We're not very far from Laughlin, Nevada, and we've got about two miles of this road until we get to the trailhead parking area. Don't miss the left turn to Grapevine Canyon. Alright, we're heading on up to the trailhead now. Well, that didn't take long. It was only about a quarter mile. There's some outhouses there and the parking lot right here. We're leaving the parking lot behind us and heading up this wash on foot. Somewhere up ahead, up there, probably in that notch, is where we'll find what we're looking for. Out here, there are many panels to explore. Some like these, easily accessible. Others, not so much. The area known today as Grapevine Canyon is considered sacred to many Southwest tribes. This rock art was created around 1100 to 1900. The meanings remain a mystery, but some think it has to do with a story of creation. Nearby Spirit Mountain, Aviquaame, in native language, is said to be the spiritual birthplace of the Mojave people. It's not known if the Mojave or their Paleo-Indian ancestors created the designs we see today. Looks like they stopped just shy of making this a marijuana leaf. Probably smoking too much pot and they got lazy. Must have been sativa because this is what they did after they smoked it. Must have been some pretty good stuff. Looks like a bullseye. That's the tapeworm of your worst nightmare. Petroglyphs such as this one may look like an 11 armed starfish, but out here it's more likely to represent the sun. That's a funky humanoid space alien looking kind of petroglyph right there. I bet this is why they named it Grapevine Canyon. These are all grapevines. Can you see the petroglyphs etched in here? Could be a snake right there. I wonder what that is. A centipede on a windy day with big hair? You can get an idea of the size of these ones here. Unlike other petroglyph sites that are mainly animals or human figures, this place is filled with geometric designs. That one looks like somebody wrote hi. There are animals here too. Undoubtedly, these represent bighorn sheep. Just above the sheep, a human figure right there. 
I hope you enjoyed exploring the Grapevine Canyon petroglyphs with me. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Rock Hopper. I'll see ya.